Right then, welcome to Happy Hungry Hibby. We have a special guest today, so if you hear any activity in the background, it is my wife and her sister. You might hear the odd giggling when I'm making a fool of myself, or they may just find me rather funny. So, this week we are going to cover an absolutely amazing recipe from the Ottolenghi Flavour Cookbook, and it's very similar to a recipe we've covered before, which is the spicy mushroom lasagna, which is absolutely fantastic. Really shows you how to use and utilize mushrooms of different flavors of different types also using fresh and dry to make that combination of textures it's fantastic so the recipe we're covering is from the flavor cookbook and it is this recipe here which is the ultimate tray bake ragu and this has been experimented extensively by Ottolenghi and Ix de Belfrage who are the the authors of this book and it's absolutely amazing. I've done it before, fantastic and it's really versatile as well. You can actually make papadel with it, so you can actually use it for a shepherd's pie and also a lasagna as well. So do check out that recipe, I've actually done an amazing one, it's very similar to this. It takes a little bit of time but you can also do the batch cooking as well and do it in advance and freeze it. It's absolutely amazing. Right, so the ingredients you need for this recipe, of course you need your mushrooms. So I've got an array of different mushrooms here. It does say oyster mushrooms, but I'm really big on the shiitake mushrooms from the Asda. Some really good ones here. So I've got a couple of packs of these, and then I've also got some of the British Portobello Lini. Portobello Lini? Yes, I've said it right. Work mushrooms. So yes, really good. Now, there's something I've forgotten. I've forgotten the dried mushrooms. And this recipe is not the same. So I'm gonna to have to go to my local delicatessen to buy some, and I have to go and get them. The rest of the ingredients, of course, three carrots, two onions, tomato puree, or tomato concentrate. I'm using this Bomba Taste Bomb. Absolutely amazing, this. Some miso paste, I'm using this excellent red miso paste. Vegetable stock, great if you can make it yourself, but this is not a bad brand. Tomato, some plum tomatoes, cumin seeds, green lentils, preferably you need to soak these overnight, pearl barley, soy sauce. I use this great brand from uh, Kikkerman, which is actually low salt. Just remember, it's a fermented product, this, so salt is an actual ingredient used for the fermentation process. Creamed coconut, rose harissa, and my secret ingredient is this amazing Japanese seaweed. And it's actually kombu from hockey dole and it's used to produce a high quality dashi stock so what i'm going to do is i'm going to infuse this into the vegetable to make my own dashi stock to really add the complexity of the umami flavors so of course i need to go to the shop and i'll see you back in a tick so here i am just taking a nice brisk walk just coming to my local delicatessen here at Hartford Delicatessen. I'm just gonna get some nice porcini dried mushrooms. That's my Turkish hairdresser there. Play football with. So here we are. Stores Delicatessen. And here I am gonna get a nice mocha and my dried porcini mushrooms. So let's go in. So here I am. And they do have it. Here we are. <laughs> and this is exactly what I'm after. So I'm just going to grab a nice mocha and then I'll be back. See you shortly. So here I am walking back with my nice mocha from the actual Coco Collection, which they supply into Hartford. Do know Paul Eagles, absolutely fantastic brands. from memories of working within chocolates and this is an absolutely amazing mocha with oat milk and 82% dark chocolate so grab yourself a cup fantastic and i'm back and i've been to the shop and i've bought dried mushrooms absolutely essential this then adds a variety of different mushrooms and it's a really important to use combination of dried and fresh mushrooms to add that texture please check out my playlist for mushroom recipes really good absolutely fantastic as a meat replacer okay so enough talking let's get on
<laughs> Are you alive, friends? <laughs> and we're live. The Smiths are coming in for tea. There's Davy boy, blowing his nose. Yeah. Birthday boy. <laughs> it's all gonna go on, it's all a bit of entertainment, isn't it? You do realise all this is good on my YouTube channel. <laughs> and the Smiths are, are talking about beetroot juice. <laughs> Earthy. It's good for you. Takes lots of nitrates. Enhances your performance. <laughs> By 10% Dave. <laughs> right. Right consistency, a little bit of water. Right, there we are, we're ready. So here we have the ragu tray bake and it is just absolutely amazing. So the Smiths have just come over. It was Dave's birthday, my father-in-law, and Dave, Sharon, Katie, Jenna and I just had a lovely meal and we've had it with the Papadel pasta. It's gone down very well, just a little bit left. I was a bit worried whether this would go around five people, but actually the ragu really does bulk up really well. It tastes really meaty, it's absolutely fantastic. And there's absolutely loads of it left. I basically only used 25%, so I've still got another tray left. What I'm gonna do is, I'm going to put this in the fridge and then I'm going to freeze the rest of it. It's almost like batch cooking. What I'm not gonna do with this, I'm going to cook, make a lasagna also maybe a shepherd's pie and cover something like that this is absolutely amazing it's really versatile really healthy it tastes really meaty and wholesome and it, the flavor was just unbelievable so really hope you're enjoying the show please do subscribe lots of love and passion going to also turn on your notifications Bing! every fortnight on tuesdays at half past four. Also, check out my playlist for other Ottolenghi recipes. Also, a lot of vegan and whole food plant-based recipes. This is converted, there's no oil in this, no salt, and it's really trying to push to move away from eating ultra-processed foods. So, really take care, everyone. Have a great week. Take care.